Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Emily and I make two videos a week, one about books and one about beauty. So today we're gonna to be chatting about a new topic for my channel and that is upcoming releases that I'm excited about. So some people who create content about books online really keep track of upcoming releases and they know exactly when things are coming out and they like pre-order everything. But I have very much my whole life been more of a mood reader. There's a lot of people on booktube or bookstagram or book bloggers who have like an official TBR list where they like read this book and then this book and then this book and it's a huge plan. For me, that sucks all of the fun out of reading because I just read for fun. I read books that I think are gonna be enjoyable, that I'm excited to read in that moment. And sometimes I'm in the mood for a thriller, sometimes I'm in the mood for a middle grade book, sometimes I'm in the mood for some like contemporary women's fiction. You just, you never know. And I feel like if I force myself to read a book I'm not in the mood for, it kind of kills the love of reading for me. But with that being said, there are some releases that I have paid attention to that I am really excited about. And these are a combination of releases from my favorite authors and thriller releases that just have a really interesting premise. So let's go ahead and chit chat about them. Honey? Honey? releases that I want to talk about are books that I would pre-order no matter like what they were about because they're from these authors but I'll tell you what they're about anyway so the first one is a history of what comes next I guess I should scoot over so I can put a picture of the cover up here but the first one is a history of what comes next by Sylvain Nouvelle and I have absolutely adored his books. I read the Themis Files series um, last year and I listened to them on audio. I gave my dad the first book for Christmas and he devoured the whole series right away. Like this man never goes to the library, but he went to the library to pick up the other books because he liked the first one so much. So I'm super excited to read the next one and it comes out in February, February 2nd, I believe and I've already pre-ordered it, super hyped for it. All the links to everything will be down below if you're interested in pre-ordering, but uh, this one is about, so the words that drew me in, you know, aside from the author's name that I was obviously very stoked about, but sci-fi, thriller, satirical, dark, like, yeah, I, I'm here for this. And it's about um, 1940s, like the space race in the 1940s, and the Nazis versus the US. So sounds super amazing. I can't wait to read it, but it could have literally been about anything and I still would have pre-ordered it. So the next one comes out in June and that is Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. So last year I read No Exit and uh, again, that's another book that I devoured so fast. I took a trip to Florida, which is like a two hour plane ride, but I read the whole book on the plane and waiting for the plane, like the whole thing. So I, like, I packed it for my trip and I was done before I even arrived at the hotel. It is, was such a fast paced book and I think they might be turning it into a movie, which is incredible because the whole time I was reading it, I was like, man, this would be such a good movie. It's kind of like an action packed thriller and it sounds like Hairpin Bridge is gonna be really similar. So based on the synopsis they put out, it looks like it's gonna be about a two sisters who are estranged and the one sister, Camry, goes and drives to a really like out of the way bridge and jumps to her death and her sister is determined that this is like there's some sort of foul play involved the official story from the police seems not right and the police detective who's been investigating it who's got this weird story that doesn't all check out his name was in like the last text that her sister ever sent so uh, like it sounds like it's gonna be very similar to no exit in the sense of you know, kind of the spirit of it, a very action-packed thriller, and I cannot wait. And of course, we couldn't be chatting about upcoming books from my favorite authors without mentioning the next Riley Sager book that's coming out, and that is Survive the Night, which is coming out in July. So I cannot wait to read this. Again, I would pick up absolutely anything that Riley Sager put out. Like, it really doesn't matter <laughs> what the synopsis says. But the synopsis is super interesting. It's about a college student who gets a ride home um, from posting on her like ride sharing job board. And on her car trip home, she starts to suspect she's in the car with a serial killer. So like, what could be more exciting than that? I absolutely cannot wait. Riley Sager can do no mind, no, no, mm-mm. 
Riley Sager can do no wrong in my mind. So I see, I can't even talk because that's how excited I am about this book. So the next two releases are from authors that I've never heard of before, um, but I read the premise of the book and it sounds super interesting. And if you know me, I pick up a thriller based on the premise like all the time. That's what really gets me into a book and that's kind of what I meant about mood reading is I love to read the back of a book and be like, this one's for me, we're picking it up right away. And that's usually how I get my audiobooks too. I just read the little synopsis on my Libby app and I'm like, sure, it's available, we're gonna read this one. So the first one is called The Project and it is by Courtney Summers and it releases in February. So this is about a woman whose sister joins a group that she is absolutely convinced is a cult. And she strikes up a deal with like the cult leader that if she can prove it's a cult, then her, she can like get her sister out and they'll shut it down and everything. But if she can't, she has to leave them alone. So I, I know nothing about this author. I have no idea about how good this book will be or anything more than what I just said, but that premise is so intriguing to me. I'm really gonna be on the lookout for this book. And the next one sounds so up my alley. It's like it was written just for me. And that is Every Last Fear by Alex Finley. And I've already seen some really good reviews uh, from people who've gotten ARCs. So that's really promising. So this book comes out in March of 2021 and it is about a college student named Matt. And his family has been in the news uh, a couple of times recently. So the first was when his older brother was convicted for murder. Then more recently, a like true crime documentary has come out suggesting that his brother was wrongfully convicted of murder. And now Matt comes home from college to find out that his, the rest of his family who's been on vacation has died in this like mysterious accident, which is kind of being investigated by the FBI as maybe not an accident, but they won't tell him any details about it. And it seems like as it goes on, it seems more and more connected to his brother's murder case. And all the while, Matt has some sort of deep, dark secret where he is pretty convinced his brother is guilty, despite all the people on the outside who don't think he is. So this book sounds like it's got so many twists and turns. It like the synopsis of it was just so long to even explain the premise of the book. I cannot wait to read this. Like I'm so excited. All right, and then there are three more releases I wanna discuss, but these are less specific and they're just ones that I'm keeping an eye out for eventually, but I don't know exactly when they're coming out or exactly what they're about. So recently I had the opportunity to be in a book club visited by Angie Kim, the author of Miracle Creek, which was amazing. She is so cool. If you could do some research on her background, I highly recommend it because she's had like five careers and they've all been amazing and her whole family is so talented. Plus Miracle Creek was a really good book. So with all that being said, she kind of gave us a little sneak peek and said that she's working on her next book, which is crazy to think that Miracle Creek was her debut novel because it was so good. But her next book sounds like it might be even better. So I can't wait for that. But she said she's still like in the early process of it. So, you know, we're probably gonna have to wait a year or two, but I cannot wait. So another author that I love who has mentioned that she's in the process of writing is Samantha March. And she is a beauty YouTuber as well, so like what a cool collision of worlds. But she's also an author and she writes these like really great kind of chick lit books that are so quick to read and they're so like, I don't want to say trashy because that sounds bad, but they're not like, you know, high literature and they're not like thrillers like I usually read, but they're just so, I don't know, they're just so fun to read. And I think I recommended them in a blog post where I talked about, um, great books to read in the fall because to me they're just like cozy curl up and have a little fun kind of books but she's got this series called the six and it's about six friends who each friend gets their own book and it's just about like the drama and their life and everything like that and they all kind of interconnect so i've read the first three and the fourth one i think samantha's been working on so i'm excited about Breely's book and really looking forward to whenever that one comes out and the very last book i wanted to mention is that Apparently Cornelia Funke is coming out with a fourth Inkheart book. I don't know if you guys ever read Inkheart as a kid, but I was obsessed with all of her books, but especially Inkheart. And it was a trilogy for like, you know, a really long time. I don't remember all the details of the second and third book because it's been a really long time. I've reread the first one several times, but haven't read the whole series since I was a kid. But I, if I was reading her Goodreads page correctly, 
it looks like the German version, she's German, so that's, you know, the language she normally publishes in, and then it gets translated to English, but it looks like it's coming out in Germany in 2021. So I guess we'll have to see when it comes out in the US, but like, I might have to reread the Inkheart series next year. So I don't know, I love when my childhood favorite authors like come through and put out another book. So those are all of the new releases that I am getting really excited about that are coming up. I would love for you to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're excited about any of these, if you're a big like Riley Sager fan like I am. I know I've seen a ton of people online super excited about that next book of his, but please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's any other books that you are super excited about upcoming releases. I know there's a ton of really exciting looking romance novels coming up. I just don't really read romance novels. I like my books to be thrillers and I like my movies to be romance and I don't like them to cross over. So please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what book releases you are excited about. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And have a wonderful rest of your day.